Hola y bienvenidos a otra lección del Español 2. En esta lección vamos a hablar de vocabulario. Esta es la última lección de vocabulario o la última presentación de voca vocabulario para este, este capítulo, esta unidad. This is our last vocab uh, introduction uh, lesson for this unit. Uh, we've got a total of three vocab lessons. We've had two already. This is our third and final one. We'll, we'll hit the rest of the words, almost the rest of the words, in this lesson. Um, again, this unit, estamos hablando de las actividades extracurriculares, o en otras palabras, que haces después de las clases. And this is the vocab that we need to be able to talk about, que haces después de las clases. All right, let's jump right into the vocab. Uh, here we go. First word. Participar en. Repite, por favor. Participar en. Yo participo en el club de computadoras. Participar en. Okay. Next one. Participar en. To participate in. La próxima. Volver. 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 Repite. Volver. Repite. Volver. Okay, some people remember this one because they think, well, I've got a Volvo and I want to return it to the garage. I don't know, whatever works for you. But remember, volver means to return. Okay, um, repite a few conjugations. Repite. Vuelvo. Vuelves. Vuelve. Volvemos. Vuelven. Did you catch something special in there in the spelling and the pronunciation? What kind of verb is this? If you said stem changer, great. Stem changer, boot verb. Yeah, this O changes to a U-E. Vuelvo, vuelves, vuelve. I return, you return, he returns, she returns. Okay, volver. Next one, crear una página web. Now, some of these terms are a little bit outdated, but um, we're still going to be learning them this chapter. Just be familiar with them. That'll help later. Crear una página web to create a page web, to create a web page. Crea, uh, repite, crear una página web. Okay. Next, estar en línea. Estar en línea. This one we still use. You hear this one sometimes. Estar en, estoy en línea, estar en línea. To be online. Hacer una búsqueda. Repite, hacer una búsqueda. Yo quiero saber la capital de... Paraguay. Yo voy a hacer una búsqueda en Google. Or voy a googlear. Hacer una búsqueda. To do a search. Hago una búsqueda. Haces una búsqueda. Hacemos una búsqueda. This one's a little outdated. A red is specifically a net. So navegar, navegar en la red means to navigate the net or to surf the web. Navegar en la red. Okay, you might see it on the test, but I'm not going to use it in class. That's something that, you know, parents and grandparents say, surf the net. Okay, I crack myself up sometimes on the inside. Next one, visitar salones de chat. Another one that you might see on, oh, I should let you repeat. Visitar salones de chat. Okay, that's another one that you might see on the test or on a quiz, but not one we're going to use a whole lot because um, chat rooms, yeah, they've kind of gone by the wayside. They've been replaced with redes sociales. Una red, you might remember, let's go back up here a couple. You might remember a red is a, is a net. So redes are nets or networks. Redes sociales, redes sociales, what would those be? social networks. That's one that we should have on here, but we don't. Okay, so instead of salones de chat, you know, those have kind of given way to redes sociales. Okay, entre, repite, entre. Entre, between. And one way that I remember this, or that I tell students that they can remember this, is you've got your appetizer, and you've got your dessert. What comes between those two? Well, the French word, entree. The entree comes between the appetizer and the dessert. Entre, in between. Entre, the appetizer and the dessert. Entre. 
el interés, repite, el interés. Interest. Yo tengo mucho interés en el club de computadoras. Yo tengo mucho, mucho interés en ser animador. Interés. La oportunidad. I'm not going to lie, this one's tough for me to pronounce because I want to give that English a ah, por, a ah, por. You hear in, how in English we've got two different sounds going with the O in this one word, but it's just o, po, oportunidad. Repite, oportunidad. Opportunity, plural, oportunidades. Repite, saber. Saber. So how do you say, I know? You might recall that it's se. This is irregular in the yield form, se. Now, if you want to know a quick joke to use on your Spanish-speaking friends, here you go. This is what you can say then. You say, hey, listen, I'm learning Spanish. Can you help me with this one verb? It's confusing me. I'm not sure about how to use it. In, in Español, se dice, no sé o no sabo. And of course, your friend responds with, no sé, because that's the right way to say it. So, se dice, no sé o no sabo. No sé. Yo tampoco, por eso te pregunto. Me neither, that's why I'm asking you. Get it? Because they said, I don't know, when you said, okay. Saber. Sorry, I should just keep it to the lesson. Saber, to know. And in this chapter, we're going to talk about it meaning knowing facts or knowledge, to know about things. Because we also have the verb conocer. Conocer also means to know. So repite, conocer. Also irregular in the yo form. Conozco, conoces, conoce, conocemos, conocen. So irregular in the yo form, normal in all the rest. Conoce, conocemos. Whereas, let's see, right here, saber, irregular in the yo form, all the others are fine. Yo sé, tú sabes, él sabe, nosotros sabemos. Again, saber, facts or knowledge. Conocer, to be familiar with or know a person or a place. Okay, and that is the end of our list. Um, we're actually going to have a lesson on the difference between saber and conocer in just a couple, in just, uh, I don't think, maybe two lessons. So let's go through these again real quick. I'll say it in Spanish. You try to come up with the English, and then we'll do it in reverse. Participar en means... Volver. Crear una página web. Estar en línea. Hacer una búsqueda. Navegar en la red. Visitar salones de chat. Entre. El interés. La oportunidad. Saber. Conocer. Okay. And let me give you some English. Let's get rid of these for a second. Um, let me give you some English, and then you tell me what the Spanish is. Okay? Uh, let's start with... Uh, let's start with some of the ones that bother me or that annoy me. Nave... Uh, no, I, I started to give you the Spanish. Uh, okay. Visit chat rooms. Visit chat rooms. What would it be? Okay. Visitar salones de chat. To be online. To be online. Okay. Estar en línea. To participate in. Okay. Participar en. To return. To return. I'm going to return tomorrow. Volver. To know. We're talking about knowing a person. Like, hey, I know Federico. Okay. Conocer. Opportunity. Oportunidad. Okay. And remember, it only needs one P. Um, did we do in between? In between? Entre. Uh, how about to do a search? Hacer una búsqueda. 
Now you might recognize this a little bit. We've seen the word buscar before. Buscar is to look for, to search for. Um, and how about to know facts or knowledge? Like I know the capital of Guatemala. Okay, it's going to be saber. Okay, that's the end of this lesson. Just like the last two vocab lessons, your only, uh, only assignment for this one is to write the three sentences using your new vocab. Buena suerte. Ciao.